Sketch the graph of the following functions marking all key features and stating the domain and range. A. Y equals log E 2x minus 1. Following the same steps as the previous videos, looking at this rule, the sign outside the log function is positive and the coefficient of the x term inside the bracket is also positive. And so this means the basic shape of this graph is going to look like this. For the vertical asymptote, we let 2x minus 1 equal 0 and solve for x. And so 2x is equal to 1 and so x is equal to a half. Next we need to work out the x and y intercepts. And since the line x is equal to a positive a half is the vertical asymptote, and the shape of the graph will be going in the positive x direction, then there cannot be a y-intercept. And so to find the x-intercept, we let y is equal to 0 and solve for x. And so we're going to get log e of 2x minus 1 is equal to 0, which means e to the 0 is equal to 2x minus 1. And so this means 1 is equal to 2x minus 1, and now solving for x, we can take the minus 1 to the left hand side, and so 2 is equal to 2x, and so x is equal to 1. And so the coordinates of the x-intercept is going to be 1, 0. And so now drawing the x and y axes, we mark the vertical asymptote with a dashed line and write down its equation. We mark the coordinates of the x-intercept, and then sketch the graph. For the domain of this function, we set 2x minus 1 to be larger than 0 and then make x the subject. And so x is larger than 1 and x is going to be larger than a half. And so the domain of this function is going to be all x values larger than a half and not including a half. The range of this function is going to be all real numbers. B y is equal to minus log e 3 minus 2x. Looking at this rule, the sign outside the log function is negative and the coefficient of the x term inside the brackets is also negative. And so, the basic shape of this log graph is going to look something like this. To find the vertical asymptote, we let 3 minus 2x equal 0 and then solve for x. And so 3 is going to equal 2x and solving for x x is equal to 3 on 2. Next we need to work out the x and y intercepts. Since the line x is equal to positive 3 on 2 is going to be the vertical asymptote and the shape of the graph is going to be going in the negative x direction then there is going to be a y intercept. And so to find the y intercept we let x is equal to 0 and solve for y. And so y is going to equal minus log e and then 3 minus 0, which is just 3. And so the coordinates of the y-intercept is going to be 0 minus log e 3. For the x-intercept, we let y is equal to 0 and solve for x. And so we're going to get minus log e 3 minus 2x is going to equal 0. Dividing by negative 1, we're going to get log e 3 minus 2x is equal to 0. And so this means e to the 0 is equal to 3 minus 2x, which means 1 is equal to 3 minus 2x. Rearranging this, we're going to get 2x is equal to 2. And solving for x, x is equal to 1. And so the coordinates of the x-intercept is going to be 1, 0. You can now draw the axes and then sketch the vertical asymptote with a dashed line and write down its equation, mark the coordinates of the x and y intercept and then sketch the graph. For the domain of this function, we set 3 minus 2x to be larger than 0 and then solve for x. And so 3 has to be larger than 2x, which means x has to be less than 3 on 2. And so the domain of this function is going to be all x values less than 3 on 2 and not including 3 on 2. The range of this function is going to be all real numbers. And that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll go through how to find the equation of a log function from a graph.